Welcome to the World of Maps how-to videos. This video will show you how to split one of our editable PowerPoint maps in half when you want to highlight two sales or marketing territories that are in the same state, county, or country. This is video one of two techniques about how to do this. So let's get started. We're going to use one of our USA editable state maps um, to do this video today. And a very, very common question that we get asked is that somebody would like to take a state, like the state of Wyoming right here, and split it into two separate territories. It's easy to color a state on our editable maps. You just click on them, you select them, go to your fill bucket, and uh, add a new color. It's very simple to do, but the problem comes in when you want to split one of these things in half. So you notice we took the state of Wyoming and we've made two pieces out of it. And this is sort of an illusion because in reality what we did is we didn't really split it. We really just took a copy of the state um, and nibbled away the edge on it. So what you'll see is that this is really two different pieces. There's the original state underneath and above it is a new part of the state with the western part nibbled off. So let's do that with the state of Colorado. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to split it just like we did in Wyoming. So let's... Um, copy because we need to make a duplicate copy. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it. So now we have a second map of Colorado and I usually like to work over here sort of off the edge. So let's do that and we're also going to zoom in on that. So now you can see we have the entire state of Colorado and to do this feature uh, we're going to be using a, a part of PowerPoint called Edit Points. Now Edit Points used to be located in the drawing toolbar in this little guy right here and when you clicked on here there was a command called edit points but they have moved that to be an internal command so what we need to do is use either the right click if you're on a PC on your mouse or if you're on a Mac use the uh, hold down the control button on your keyboard and click on the state and you will see a new command right here called edit points so click on that release your finger from the control key and what you'll now see are all the points that make up the perimeter of this state. These are the points that we drew when we were making the state. And what you need to do now is sort of nibble off or delete the points for the areas that you don't want and leave the part of the state that you do want. So a key part of this is understanding your mouse. If you'll notice as I'm sort of move it here, uh, when I'm out here in the white area it's a, a pointer. When I move it over the, the map of Colorado, it changes into a cross. When I move it very carefully over the line, you'll notice it's a little box with a cross. And if I move it over the point, it's a little box with four little arrows on it. This is the one that we want to know about, the four little arrows, because this means that we can delete these points. So by holding it over the, the corner point, if I if I'm on a PC, I will do the right click. If I'm on a Mac, I will hold down the control key, click on it, and a new little window shows up, and it says delete point. So there we go. We delete it. Now, it looks like nothing happened, and in the drawing of our maps, there's many points in here. So sometimes you have to do it twice because there's actually two points there, and you notice that it just disappeared and our state shrunk. So we're just going to kind of work around very carefully here and delete the points. There's a second one there. Try and make sure we don't get the line tool. We want just the point tool. So we'll delete the points and delete the points. So now we have our new shape. So this will be salesman number two's territory. Let's zoom back out. And you'll notice that you can take this and you move it right back on top of the state, just like that. So now we have a left side and a right side, and we're going to add a new color in this. So we'll go over to our fill palette, and we're just going to pick a light blue color so it stands out. And I think I'll probably also make the background color. Notice I can just click on it with my pointer, and we'll make that another light color. Let's just make it, um, oh, I don't know. How about a, uh, let's make that yellow. And you'll notice that we're partially covering up the word Colorado. So we can click on that with our pointer and just move that over there. And we're all set. We have now successfully uh, taken the state of Colorado and split it in half, or what looks like we've split it in half, for our presentation.
Thank you for joining us today on learning how to split a map in half in PowerPoint. Uh, this was video one. We also have a second video that shows you another technique, um, sort of a, just a simple tracing around technique that works well with some of the simpler maps or the simple county outlines. Um, and just watch for that in video two. Thank you for joining us today at the World of Maps and learning a little bit about our editable PowerPoint maps with these how-to videos. We have a full range of U.S. and Canada maps, world projections, globes, world regions, states, counties, and lots and lots of countries uh, that are fully editable, royalty-free for your PowerPoint presentations. Thanks for joining you. See you next time. Bye-bye.